eating cantaloupe. Like, they're so good. I have, like, literally this huge bowl that was full of cantaloupe, and now there's, like, this much left because I ate it all. But it's so good, and I can't get enough. And I have no shame in it. At least it's healthy. I could be eating chocolate. Look on the bright side. Oh my god, chocolate covered cantaloupe. That would be so good. Because, like, 20 minutes later. You know that Spongebob thing? You, that was a terrible impression. I'm so sorry that you had to witness this. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a another unboxing video. I have three packages to unbox, so without further ado, let us get started. My first package is from Penguin Random House. I'm really hoping that I'm not going to need scissors for any of these packages because I have no idea where mine are, and you're girl too lazy to go find them. The book is A Twist of the Knife by Becky Masterman. The book follows an FBI agent named Bridget Quinn, and she is a specialist in serial killers. When her mother calls from Florida saying that her father is ill, she returns home to visit her father in the hospital. Bridget definitely prefers her new life in Arizona, and returning home is always very hard for her. Returning home gives her the chance to look up a classmate named Laura Coleman who once saved her life. Laura is now working as a criminal defense attorney, and she is working on a case for a man named Marcus, and he is on death row for the murder of his family. Bridget becomes involved in the case, and she begins to think that Marcus may not have actually committed the crime. So she sets out to prove this point, and that's basically what the story is. I'm actually very intrigued by this book. I love serial killers, I love all the murder and all that stuff, sounds super creepy, but it's true. So I'm actually very excited to get into this one. My second package is also from Penguin Random House. Apparently, Penguin Random House likes me this month. Thank you, Penguin Random House. Oh, there's a tab, ready? So satisfying. The book is The Last Neanderthal by Claire Cameron. And I'm kind of confused about the synopsis, so I'm just going to read it to you guys. It says, 40,000 years in the past, the last family of Neanderthals roams the earth. Girl, the oldest daughter, is coming of age and they must travel to the meeting place to find her a mate. But the unforgiving landscape takes its toll and Girl is left alone to care for Runt, a fondling. As Girl and Runt face the coming winter, Girl realizes she has one chance to save her people, even if it means sacrificing part of herself. In the modern day, archaeologist Rosamond Gale works well into her pregnancy, racing to excavate newly found Neanderthal artifacts. Linked across the ages by the shared experience of early motherhood, both stories examine the often taboo corners of women's lives. Haunting, suspenseful, and profoundly moving, The Last Neanderthal asks us to reconsider what it means to be human. I don't know if that's like, it's going to be telling girl and rent story, and then the archaeologist finds like artifacts from their time and like links the story together. I have no idea. Kind of confused. Should be an interesting read. We'll see how it goes, I guess. And my final package came with a thing that says we're sorry about the condition for your package. Because apparently, Canada's Postal Service hates me because the last unboxing video they did this to me too. So hopefully this time, you know, it's not broken like the other book was that they like dropped in water or something. Hopefully it's just like the packaging is ripped or something. Because I'm going to be pissed if it's twice in a row, Canada Postal Service. I definitely need scissors for this, but it's not happening. It's not happening. I'm going to get into this. Why is this so difficult? The thing is, I'm going to get into the plastic. And then I'm just going to have to get into the package, too. Look, a package inside a package inside another package. So this package has two books in it. The first is Gilded Cage by Vic James. And I love this cover. It's so shiny in person. I don't know if you can see that, but like, ha! The inside of the flap says, not all are free, not all are equal, not all will be saved. A girl thirsts for love and knowledge, a boy dreams of revolution, and an aristocrat will remake the world with his dark gifts. So assuming it's like magic fantasy-ish, I honestly have no idea. I've never seen this book, but now I'm excited because I really like the cover. So there you go. And then the final book, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to read it or not because, like, a lot of controversy has been going on about it. I'll show you what the book is, but I'm not really going to talk that much about it. It is The Black Witch by Laurie Forrest. Somebody on Twitter said that it was a very racist book. I'll leave the links down below if I can still find them. This video is going to go up, like, way in the future, so I don't know if it's actually going to happen or if I'm going to be able to find those tweets again. But basically, they were saying that the book was very racist and it was offending them. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it yet. But it's real hefty. It's a real hefty book. We'll see what I think further down the line, if anything clears up or if more information comes out on the book. I just don't want to offend anybody. So there you go. The book is here. Don't know if it's actually going to be read, but I have it. Alright guys, so that was my unboxing video. If you guys have read any of 
the books that let me know down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!